KLBK's First Morning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, happy Monday, South Plains, and thanks so much for choosing us here on KLBK. Tonight, we've seen those clouds move into the region. We're going to go ahead and start you off with our Bob Mills Skyview Network from our Overton East camera. This is looking back over downtown Lubbock. You can see the flashing light there on the top of the NTS building. If you missed the moon earlier tonight, it's kind of hard to see it out there now. You can see through a few breaks in the cloud, but tonight's full moon is known as the wolf moon. We've got a pretty cool graphic explaining that for you. It actually occurred around 551 this evening and it, the name originates from this time of year because a lot of people typically associate that with being the time that wolves begin to howl. But this is the first full moon of our year and Jason Davis got an incredible shot with that moon out tonight just before all of those clouds moved in. Now those clouds could be a little pesky because they're covering up the moon but they made way for an absolutely stunning sunset and we've got a pretty cool time lapse video to show you. I'm going to step off the screen so you can just enjoy how beautiful it was as it set. You can see the sun shining underneath portions of the clouds, bringing in a lot of that just golden hue. And as it began to dip below the horizon, we got some more of those purples and reds moving on in there. And man, if we didn't have a lot to talk about in the forecast tonight, we would just sit on this on loop for the next three and a half minutes, but that's not the case. Unfortunately, we've got some big changes headed our way. There are those clouds moving in. You can see on satellite and radar tonight, a few showers possible down in southern portions of Lee County near the Hall community, but that will continue to move on off towards the east. Most of us though, pretty dry tonight, but also pretty cloudy. It's going to be warm compared to where we've been the past several nights. Those clouds going to keep us in the mid thirties to mid forties by sunrise, 36 for a low in Lubbock, 40 degrees down in Snyder. A few areas over northwestern portions of the KLBK viewing area will flirt with freezing right around that 32 degree mark. Now winds tonight are going to increase and they're going to stay quite breezy across the region tomorrow by around 10 o'clock in the morning. You can see those winds out of the west upwards of 30 to 40 miles per hour. Gusts as high as 50 miles per hour are expected tomorrow and those strong winds are going to last all day Tuesday into early Wednesday morning as a strong cold front approaches. So with the dry ground out there as our drought monitor shows, whenever you have those strong winds, you get some of that blowing dust. That's what we're going to have to deal with tomorrow and the first part of Wednesday. But tomorrow we will have to deal with an increased risk of fire weather. Notice a critical risk down for regions in red, including Post, Snyder, up towards Dayton. The rest of us, though, under an elevated threat. And because of that, the National Weather Service here in Lubbock has gone ahead and issued a fire weather watch for all of our counties, with the exception of Hall, Curry, and Roosevelt counties. That in effect tomorrow, high temperatures well above average in the mid to upper 60s to mid and upper 70s across the South Plains. But that strong cold front is going to move through late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, bringing in some of the coldest air, if not the coldest air of the season. A weak low pressure system is going to move through Thursday. Could see a few snowflakes out of that. Then we'll be watching another low pressure system scooting to our west on Saturday. That could bring in a few more flurries to portions of the South Plains. As of right now, it looks like areas out west will have the greatest potential of that. You can see just a few flakes, so we're not expecting any accumulation. But of course, we'll be tracking this closely and keep you updated. But those wind chill values are going to be dangerously cold both Thursday morning and Friday morning. Wind chill values could be below zero degrees for a lot of locations, so you need to take that very seriously. Matt and Terry with wind chill values like that, frostbite can set in and it's a little as 30 minutes, so it's nothing to mess around with. But you know, as we head into the later part of our weekend and early next week, yeah. looks like we'll be back in the 60s. Oh. Not Got to wait on Texas. <laughs> Thank you very much. Jake. Of course.